Hello, everybody. Gonna make this real quick. Uh, this is my last month in um, in Riverside. It's supposed to be the meth capital of the world, but it's also the number one co uh, biggest co county in California and has and houses the most diverse uh, races, cultures, ethnicities. I don't fucking know. You know, ancestries. I think ancestries do it your family. Um, sorry about my, uh, I, I'm, I have a <clears throat> reveal, um, but sorry about my, uh, you know, ever since I, uh, lost, I got second place in a spelling bee when I was in seventh grade, I think it was one of the most important, uh, days of my life. I lost the Fallon Sowers, um, tall albino, but, uh, I don't remember the word. I think it was like carburetor or something in a, in a, on a um, on a car. So um, so yeah. So this is my last month in this grotto. Um, there's several words you can use. Um, it's the size of a double decker. Um, so sometimes I'll call it that. A loft studio, etc. A barn. My dad calls it. Um, so anyway. Um, you ain't, you ain't ever going to believe this. You know, I've actually been writing since I was 19. I'm 39. So more than half of my life. Um, I have a... I have a um, group called Book Trailers on Facebook. Where if you have a book, you can make a like a little concept trailer. You know, um, claymation or what, what have you. And... Um, and I'm from the generation where we use keys, actual keys, to start our ignition, you know. Um, a lot of a lot of these new age uh, chitlins will be uh, thinking that they're hip to the scene and they don't even know. They don't, they have no history, they have no context, richness, substance, or um, pizzazz or oomph behind their... Um, <clears throat> behind their person, you know, there's no, no, n you're not going to really draw a crowd, you know, it's, it is cool to be young, I guess, if that's like an American fad, but, um, but y you can't really draw a crowd if you have, um, if you're not cultured, and you don't see that with, m with many of our, um, with the youth of the nation. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this. I, I told you, I promised it would be short. This is my first hardcover book. Um, I just, it's been collecting dust, and I don't want it to get too dusty. So, I'm just going to open it. Maybe it's more valuable to leave it unlocked. You know, like the 40-year-old version, he leaves everything. Like this book. Um, it's called The Outsiders by James Missioner. It's his best uh, work, so... I spent over maybe 120 on it. Um, I'm going to read it for sure. Um, but I want it to be preserved. And I don't feel like this Amazon box is doing much to preserve. I also got this. It's amazing what you could buy with $20 in America. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just fascinating. I mean, I even have a Christmas tea, a Christmas tree candle. I don't know how it would work, though, because if the wax would... Uh, it would be pretty messy. So yeah, I've told people before. Here it is. That um, this is epic in size and grand in proportion. Um, that I've t t published a hardcover on Amazon, and I never actually did. I lied. So here it is. It's called what Yeezus or Yeezy, who sells five hundred dollars shoes, which I actually bought for four, found for forty nine dollars. Um, what Yeezy calls Yeats, you know, Yeezy, not Wheezy. Wheezy is Little Wayne. You know, rap stars is the cool thing. They have two names. You know, if you saw my YouTube video, um, collection of Yeats is tweets, just like Elon Musk did. Did this is 550 pages though. Amazon won't let you publish a hardcover unless it's 550 pages. See, collection of yeats. You know, I kind of went a step ahead uh, or a step further. 
a step ahead of the curve and a step further than Elon Musk. And I, I actually, I actually shaped my tweets into an actual motherfucking hardcover. Tell me one person, one person that has that size of cojones. This body of, what does that say? This body of work is also a body of art. <laughs> I love when I fucking do a cover, dude. Because that, I mean, come on, dog. I mean, listen, New York City, per capita, even to this day, houses the most gender-neutral folk and the most publishers. And not even those indie publishers could come up with a cover like that. This body of work is a body of art. That is a great line. It's almost poetic. It's poetically symmetrical. And it's really almost like, it's almost as if you're listening to uh, acapella. You know, how it rolls off the tongue. I, I was talking to Robin Slim Show. Um, they've actually pay their rent, uh, with rate, with podcasting, which is, you know, which is, it's almost as if like that Ali Laundry Super Bowl commercial where she throws a quarter and it goes right in that little hole. That's how hard it is to, you know, podcasting because you have to actually run a show where you actually pretend to care. <laughs> and that's just hard, dude, because people, they... Are very privy they have their ear to the grindstone they want to actually be able to not siphon but screen how much somebody is willing to vouch for you or wager for you and that's probably why the podcast movement died i told my therapist this and he said he didn't want to see me anymore i've never been told that by a therapist that um that i told where i where I um, presumably predicted the entire movement, podcast movement. And he said, you know what? Uh, you got to, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut the door on you. You know, I'm not, that's not my cup of tea. You know, you don't see that. You don't see only the Matt Damon and Goodwill Hunting where you challenge uh, a social worker such as Robin Williams and he turns his back on you. I mean, it actually happened to me, but. Uh, and the only reason why I'm kind of have a uh, remorse is because I should have recorded that, dude. I should have recorded that session. God dang, man. I wish I. <sighs> man, I was running circles around him. It was like the exorcist, you know, like an owl turning his head 360 degrees. Running circles around him. Um, but I mean, podcasting, dude, nobody knows how to do that. Nobody makes pays rent except for Robin Slim. And, uh, they said, sorry about my tangent, um, but, or my non sequitur, but, um, cause that comedian is supposed to know how to, um, is sp supposed to know how to segue. Right. But Robin Slim, you know, they read, you know, a body of work is also a body of art and they know it's po poetically symmetrical symmetrical and it would sound great as audio you know what i mean like just listen to those words how it rolls off the tongue and uh they said maybe you should hire uh, a voiceover artist <clears throat> so if you want to i don't know I, my next step technically speaking is my point technically is that i probably will in, 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 in enough time, soon enough, have an audio book. But at least I have a hardcover. I've done, I've done softcover. I've done pocketbook. I've uh, hardcover. And the next is, it will certainly be, worry not, hold on to the seat of your pants. Because I promise you, audio book is next. But if you want to buy a copy of this, it's on Amazon. I don't... The thing is, is that it's probably... This is... A, a book on Amazon has to be a minimum of 50 pages. So everything I've published has been 50 pages, right? I, I did have one omnibus. 
because like I said, I like I like to dabble in every genre. I like to experiment, and explore. I mean, that should be. I mean, my dad's a psychologist, and that should be prodded, you know, and goaded, and encouraged to, you know, to find where the sidewalk ends, you know, so to speak. So, um, if you want to go ahead and read this yourself, and and you know, as a fireplace book, um, like here, here, I'll read you a little bit, right? So it's got pictures in it, just like a a nursery rhyme, so to speak. Um, or like a pop-out, you know, like a, sorry, I keep on saying like, but, um, you know, like a pop-up book, like the Zellweger movie, where she, uh, I even heard, uh, alright, that's definitely a tangent, I'll shut up, but I'll read you a little bit of it. Here's a, here's a picture about Christopher Robin, how he was seeing Winnie the Pooh in real life. My sister said it's an amazing, um, movie, because movies about literature are, are more than likely gonna be the bee's knees like adaptation dude that's a fucking fantastic fucking flick metaverse so this is five novels in one no 10 novels i'm sorry no 11 novels because they're 50 pages each so here's here's one if you think about it as a a partition you know or you know um here's here's technically 11 There'll be technically 11 chapters. And this is going to be probably the fourth, it seems like. It doesn't seem like it's too deep in it. It's called the Metaverse. And right here is the epilogue of the previous um, manuscript or, you know, what have you. You know, this is all kind of new territory. So I don't know the exact uh, best way to describe, you know, best descriptions. But it says here, epilogue, the predatory hunter Barracuda grows up to 80 inches. Piranhas, the schoolfish, only 10 inches. You know, that's how I ended the last, um, the last section of this hardcover. And then I go on to Metaverse, and then it'll obviously have a prologue or an index. And it says, micro and microaggressors. In the metaverse, shed your alter egos at the altar. You know, it, it, it sounds almost like I was saying poetry, poetically symmetrical or an acapella. You know, micro and microaggressors. In the metaverse, shed your alter egos at the altar. It sounds as, as almost as if, you know, as if your dad was a psychologist and be like, dude, you know, I disown this kid. I disinherit him. He's... A mental patient, you know, he's gone bananas, uh, bunkers. Um, that's almost as if one of the, one of your diagnosis that you how you would read into this, right? You know, like wow, this guy completely um, dismantled his dad's everything his dad's worked for, like the Tron legacy. You know, like why would this guy go out of his way to be cra to be so crazy when his dad is so straight laced? You know. I mean, that could be one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it could be, you know, like, hey, it's uncharted territory. You know, he's just trying to break ground. You know, it's not really, there's not really more than one layer to this. I can promise you that. Um, this has nothing to do with trying to be a patient. Um, so here, let me read you a little, a little bit, please, if I may. I, I did promise this to be short, and we're almost at 14 minutes, so I do apologize. But just bear with me. Um, so, Metaverse, Chapter 1, Paragraph 1. Chin Scratcher is 254 miles on a charter bus without headphones, due east considered a road trip. Well, 208 miles from the bus station, so yes and no. Sam's Town Hotel is a designated hotspot. Will I have comped enough room to myself? I mean, will I have comped a room to myself, I wonder. I dislike lonesomeness, given my 60% hearing loss makes awkward silences insufferable, or any peace and quiet for that matter. <laughs> All right, well, hey, 15 minutes out, you know, if you can, you know, knock on wood, you know, because paper is wood, get yourself a copy, check out the audio book coming to you soon.